what a good way to start the episode. Hello everyone, I'm Tech, and welcome back to another brand new episode of Scuff Survival. Yep, we're back here again. Now, today's episode is going to be quite fun, because I had this idea literally about 10 minutes before I decided to set up recording, and, uh, well, here's just hoping it's going to go wet. So for today's episode, we are going to need a couple of these, this repaired, and a lot more rockets. And so today, we're going to venture through there, our lovely little portal, and yes, today's plan is to go bastion hunting. Well, again. So, here we are in the nether. Now, as you can see off camera, I've done a little bit of work on our tunnel, which means we can actually get down here safely now without getting shot at. But, we still do need to be aware of those guys. For today though, I think we are going to go and fly off over this way. Now, we're going to be flying for quite a while, so uh, please make sure you have your in-flight meals. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long today's episode is going to be, but... Uh, Bastions are kind of rare, but uh, if you fly around like I do with an elytra and a whole heap of rockets, then they're not, they suddenly become not so rare and a little easier to find. But let's go and see just what we can find, hey? You know what? You might even find another fortress or two. I'll be really happy if we do. That's a ghast. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. I'm going over this way now. You know, I really don't like ghasts. They're ghastly. <laughs> Pardon the pun. You know, I should have brought some gold with me, just in case we had to start trading with piglins. Oh well, I'm sure we'll figure that out in time. Now, as you heard me say earlier, yes we are doing this, and I quote, again, because we did this ages ago, right back at the start of episode 9. Hold on. There we go, just land down here. We have what looks like a ruined portal. Oh, I should do this. Let's just go and put everything else in here. I should have thought about that. There you go, our spare spare thing in there. And we have flint and steel, gold leggings, golden sword, flint, uh, light pressure plate, and a golden hoe, which is going to be absolutely useless. Now, let's see. Can we get this block? Yes! That's now a gold block to our name. So uh, that's a room portal, which doesn't really help too much, but hey, at least it's a start. Now, the aim of today's fly around is not just to find a bastion, but to find probably Minecraft's rarest music disc, Pigster. It just so happens to be one of my favourites out of the entire game. And uh, yeah, if you do find that, it is going to be fantastic. In the meantime, in the meantime, even though it's wasn't planned, we have found a fortress. Let's go and see what's down here. Oh, you're down here. No. 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 Still no. Still ow. There we go. Did we get anything from... Of course we didn't. Of course we didn't. Ow. Alright, let's just go and uh, fly away. So we've found a, another fortress already. Now I understand bastions are quite rare. So, a question for you guys, let me know your answers in the comments. Have you guys ever found a bastion and did you ever find the elusive Pigstep CD? Oh, this could be good. Last time I found a bastion, it was in a uh, uh, basalt, basalt, basalt delta. You see, since I've added the new things in 1.16, it's really confused me. But let's go ahead and just see if we can find anything. Well, we do have some quartz, so... Uh, I shall take that, thank you very much. That could come in handy for when we're building stuff in the near future. And I guess I should actually... Yeah, I'm just going to take all this. <laughs> there we go, perfect. What's down there? Oh, no, thank you very much. I shall pass on that. And we need to go back towards the deltas, which are this way. Now, basalt deltas are usually pretty tricky to get through, because, uh, well, they're actual chaos to try and break our way through. But, let's see, we do have, of course, our fancy netherite pickaxe, and this! Which is honestly very, 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 very handy. Right, let's go and uh, keep going through here. Hopefully, hopefully we find something. If you guys do know a good use for basalt, do let me know. Also, this is really satisfying. 
Oh. Okay. Can we get out here? Can we... Rocket, please? Uh, answer to that is no, we can't get out of here. Ah, that's fire. No, thank you. I'm going to go down here. Fire hurts. Uh, let's go down this way. Now, let's see. Hopefully, we could get lucky and also find ourselves some uh, netherite scrap. I think it's netherite scrap anyway. I'm not quite too sure what it's called. Can we get out of here? No, we can't. We're going to die. Ow. Ah, well, this could be a bit of an issue. Although, I will just, uh, I'll just go and take that gold. Now, I do have another idea for the next episode, and I'm actually going to let you guys know this one in advance. Do actually let me know if you think it's a good idea or not, but my idea is to go and make another room underneath where we've got our super smelters and our sugarcane farm, and that is going to be our enchanting and brewing area. Like, our enchanting table and our brewing room. However, thankfully, back over here, in this, on today's episode, we have managed to break three. There you go, three. Yes, break three. That's how that works. But we have managed to uh, break free of the little uh, basalt delta. And now we've found an even bigger one. Okay, let's keep going. This one could actually be pretty good for us. Because it is a very, very large basalt delta. And we should hopefully have a bastion nearby. Now, if you guys know how this went last time, it took me nearly a full hour to go and actually find one of these. So, I have a feeling it could take just as long, if not longer. But, uh, oh well, it's a crimson forest. And an oversized pork shop. You. <laughs> now, if you guys know anything about the past, you'll know we've uh, had to fend ourselves against these things before. And we've done it once again. Right. In fact, even better. It has taken us not as long this time, but we have gone and found ourselves a Bastion Ruins, I think this is? Right, let's go and keep that, and let's go and make our way down here. Now, we are going to have to be very, very careful, and I am going to have to empty my inventory into a backpack, because that is, of course, a thing. So let's just go and move all that into there, move our netherrack into there, bones, golden nuggets, basically everything. And let's go and see just what is in this bastion. Bastion monument ruins, something. Right. Oh, piglin brutes. I forgot about you. I forgot about you. I forgot about you. No, 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 no. Still no. Ow. How am I on fire? Okay, I'm just going to go hide up in this tree. Well. Another tree, I guess. Can I get back up here again? I have a feeling we might need our chest plate for this. Oh yeah, that's the thing by the way, Piglin Brutes are now a thing. They are probably one of the strongest mobs out of the entire game. And uh, they're very, very quick. Let's see, can we get in here again without getting attacked? There's a couple chests, there's four chests, we've got a really good chance. Okay, that's good. I think we just have to just break that. Yep. I knew you'd be here. Goodbye. Do we have anything in here? Not really. Uh, you, you can stay. We are just going to have to use our axe and just break these away. This is the only way that we can pick stuff up. Because we are trying to get through here as quick as possible. Oh, iron sword with mending. That is going to be very useful. Oversized pork chop, get out of here. That was loud. <laughs> Sorry if I uh, broke anybody's eardrums. <gasps> there it is! Right, let's check around us quickly. That did not take long at all. Oh, wow. Do we have everything? We have everything. Let's go! <laughs> Although, to be fair, I do want to have a look around here just in case I find anything else. But we do have what we actually came here for. Alright, let's put ourselves in here. Is there an over There's an oversized pork chop. No, I'm not dying to the oversized pork chop. Thank you very much. Right. Do we have anything else? We've got a chest down there. I'm pretty good with bows. He says that he misses both shots. Well done. I might be in trouble here. 
Right, that's you gotten. And that's you gotten. Right. See if we can get to here. We can get to here, but you're in the way. This is bad! Is there anything in here? Ow! <laughs> well, that went well. Okay, so after dying several thousand times to piglins, again, we've managed to get back to our little house. And honestly, I am quite proud of what we've got here. Let's go and just... Ow. You know what? That works too. So, let's go and have a look through everything that we've gotten. I think I'm just going to have to use a few of the chests that we picked up. <laughs> let's just put this down here and let's just go and pile everything into here. Okay, so after piling everything into here, this is what we've got. We've got two mending iron swords, which is not bad. We've got a couple of bits of gold armour. We have some gold blocks, iron ingots, gold ingots. We've got the 14-3 axe, which isn't bad. I think, I don't know. We also have Soul Speed's 2 book, which is honestly really good. We've got 3 Ancient Debris, which is even better. And we've also got some Magma Cream, and Golden Carrots, and a lot more stuff. But the bit that I am very, very happy about is the fact that we've got just what we were looking for. Now, come on, I think there's only one way to celebrate this. Let's just get some of you, one of you, and make one of you. We'll put you there. And now, the only way that we can properly celebrate having this music disc. Ready, everyone? There it is. I love the fact that we've done this. And it didn't take long, unlike last time. Okay, so I looked up when the last time was that we actually went to go and find a bastion, and that was in episode 15. And that is over half an hour long. As well, this one I don't even think is 15 minutes long yet, and we've already got exactly what we wanted, and we've got some other stuff too. But I think there's something else that we can do just while we're here. Okay, so a while ago I was given a very nice set of just unenchanted diamond armour, and uh, I've already got all this, all the diamond stuff that we've got here, minus the Electra and uh, Golden Helmet. A while ago I was also given quite a fair bit of netherite. Now, I think we can all see where this is going, so uh, I'm just going to put it out there right now. Let's go and get three from there, one extra bit here, so uh, making up for all this. And let's head back over to our house real quick. I forgot they didn't change this in the texture pack I'm using, so you're going to have to deal with it being bright for two minutes. Right, let's just go and put this in here, and that's one, two, three, and four. That is a full netherite. It has taken us 37 episodes, but we have full netherite, netherite sword, netherite gear, everything. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm so excited about this, and why I'm so happy about it, netherite is the strongest item in the game. Yes, stronger than diamond. I know. It's quite tricky for me to figure that one out myself. But uh, yeah, speaking of diamonds, we do of course have our diamonds in here, and we also have some over in the storage system. So I think what we're going to do is go and put all that together, and then I'm going to have to sort everything in. I really should have built a sorting system. Right, let's go ahead and get all of our regular armor for now, just to get back across here. And because, honestly, to me the blue looks way nicer. Now let's fly in. There we go. And now, now we need to go and sort that out, plus everything that we've got in here. So I'm going to go and get our diamond stuff first of all. There we go, much better. There. That looks nice. I mean, this looks good, but this looks better. And with that, we're now going to have to go and sort all of this. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to this. Right, debris, you go in there, as well as the iron nuggets, our gold nuggets, and... I think I think we should put that iron block in too, and also, 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 something else that is going to be really good is going ahead and putting our little Soul Speed 2 book in there. Now that is probably going to go on here and I'm going to spend a whole episode just getting everything sorted, but like I say, we're trying to do the enchanting table and stuff, just a next floor down underneath, well not underneath here, but uh, down there. That is going to be hopefully where I'm thinking of putting another room, so in the comments do let me know if you think I should do that. 
Now, I think all our other stuff should go in here, Gilded Blackstone included, and hopefully, do we have anything else in here that we need to move? Yes, we've got some gold blocks. That can go in here, and gold can go in here, so can the iron. I think... Yeah, that should be good enough. Right, we also got given this too, which is one of the rarest items to get in the entire game. And honestly, I'm pretty happy that we were given it. And also, we've got some other interesting stuff too, but I just need to go and first put all these tools back in here. And this armor into here. Now, I'm going to probably use this, but uh, let me know if you want me to uh, keep the diamond stuff too. Although, to be fair, I'm probably going to keep the diamond stuff anyway. I just wanted to have the netherite stuff because, you know, strongest armor in the game and all that. Right. That can go into there. Now, we do have some extra chests as well. So, I can do some work over here. Chest this side and this side. And then we can also go ahead and put a chest over here and here. So at least we can start building up the storage system as well. We do also need to get a whole heap of shulkers in here, and a lot more chests to fill up the entire room. But I think I'm going to have to do a lot of that off camera, just because uh, it's going to be quite boring just watching me going and mining trees and getting more stuff, and then going back to more trees and then getting more stuff. You get the point. Right, that can all go in there. We also do have some more food. Where do I put bone blocks? I think that's going to have to go in there, because we've got bones in here. We've also got bone meal over here, so bone blocks are going to have to go in here too. Right, golden carrots, they are going to go in our food chest, which isn't doing too bad. Yes, I started working on some food chests, I know. Alright, I've gotten our pig step disc out of this chest, and I think... Let's see. Can I... Should I put all my viewers on edge and just do this? Right, let's go and put this up here, and let's put this one over here. <laughs> right, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Oh man, I need more chests and more shulker boxes because I want to fill up both of here and both of here. And then the entire lot's going to be chests. And also, this is out of date. Let's go and just do that. We're going to make our to-do list. One, room number three. Two, enchant... Oh, no, I can't type. Enchanting. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Room number three, enchanting. Yes, and option here. Honestly, I kind of want to do option here, but I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. Now, another thing for you guys to decide is where should I put the Jeep box? I figured for now, just because, why not? Let's just put it in the center here. And let's just do that so we can go and have our CD playing. I'm not going to play it again because I don't want to get copyright striked off the face of planet Earth. Yes, please, don't copyright. Thank you very much. And something else that I need to notice, or have noticed and need to fix, is... Well, we have some stone bricks behind the first super smelter over here. And we didn't do it for the rest. But uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and fix that again off camera as well. And I was saying about the whole off camera thing, there's a whole sort of stereotype of, oh, I'll do this off camera, and then everybody ends up with just stacks of stuff. Yeah, I don't do that. I'm just going to literally probably sit there and look at bricks for the next two and a half hours. Right, let's go and clear out the rest of the backpack, which is all of our nether stuff. There we go. Our nether bits and pieces here, that's that, and also we need our tools here because I've got a plan for those. But in the meantime, where do I put basalt? Is this gonna... Right, netherite can go in there, let's open that. Uh, nether quartz, I think it's gonna have to go in our chest up here. And I'm gonna have to start making a new row for this. Right, let's move the coal back, and let's put the quartz down here. Basalt, I think, is probably going to have to go in its own little compartment up here. Although, 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 we do have this chest now, so I'm going to put basalt in here. There we go, we're going to have that row B for our, our nether stuff. So chains can go in there too, and I think that's probably about all that can go in there. Do we have anything else in our backpack? Yes we do, netherrack, blackstone, we have some more basalt, enderpearls, and rotten flesh, and none of that went into my inventory. Oh well, alright, that can go in there, that can go in there, blackstone in there, uh, ah, basalt's in here, okay. Right, that can go into our redstone bits and pieces, our little pressure plate. And I think the rest is probably going to be between some of our chests over here for our, our golden nuggets and stuff. And I think all the other stuff is just going to have to go over here. So that is going to be our tools chest getting some more, well, tools. Our armor chest getting more armor. Our mob drops chest, getting more mob drops in the form of leather, and that bone. 
and also we're going to put our other bits and pieces into this food chest in here. Apart from flint, you can't eat flint. Well, at least you can't eat flint yet. Okay, so now that we're back over here, time to do something that I've needed to do for quite a while. I need to go and get our two mending books here, and I need to put them on my axe and my shovel, because as we saw there, well, they're a little bit broken, and by a little bit, I mean uh, majorly. So let's go and put mending on that. Ow. And let's go and put mending on that. Also, ow, that is very, very, very loud in my ears. Right. There we go, and then I think we should head back over to our shop as well. Has anybody bought anything? No, and no. Anything up here? Let's go check. That would be a no, no, and also no. Let's see, why am I not surprised? Now we're in another secret little location. That can go in there, along with our axe as well, because we don't need the iron axe anymore. We got really lucky out in the nether as well, because that only has one durability left on it. And I think... That is going to have to go up to be our stack of rockets there. These are going to go back in our rocket box. And I think that might be about it. Right, rockets back into the rocket box with you. And I forgot something. We have some crates. Now, if you don't know how I got these, well, this is because I was on each day for a month. Because on this server, they have a slash daily plugin. As you can see, I've already got today's. And if you get all of them for 30 days, then you get some quite good things, including, like we have here, three gamble crates, two spawner crates, and five normal crates. Now, I believe you can get them using the in-game balance thing, so if I go slash balance, as you can see, we're doing pretty well. And now, let's just go ahead and open all of these and see what we get. So the first one. 500 credit reward. Now this is not real life money, this is all in game. We have 1,500 and 500. Not bad. So we'll just go and get that, that, and that. Next, spawn egg crates. We've got a llama and we've got a wolf spawn egg. We could get another dog. And normal ones, we have an enchanted shovel. We have eight golden apples. That's really good. We've got 100 extra claim blocks, which is going to be very handy. Another enchanted shovel. And an enchanted axe. Even though I've just fixed that one. Although we could combine these now and get a really good axe from it. And we could do the same with these. In the meantime though, the tools can go back into the tools chest. And I think we should come back and revisit those. Because as you can see, we are doing pretty well for ourselves. Now, I guess the golden apples do tend to count as food, but they are also valuable. So I shall put them back in this chest. And as you can see... Our valuables chest is looking pretty good. There's one thing missing. There is one very big thing missing, and something that I want to create. And that is this. A block of netherite. Look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. It takes a while to break, but uh, there we go. <laughs> that is the one thing that was missing from our valuables chest. An entire block of netherite. And also our beautiful little uh, music disc down there. Right, let's go and switch into the new stuff. Very fancy. Sort of. And I think, even though I didn't really spend much time recording this today, because we did really well, I was not expecting to find a bastion that quick. Now, let's go ahead and just use our sugarcane farm. Or not. Oh well. So, yeah. I think we've done pretty well. In fact, I think we've done really well for ourselves. I should not have spoken. Well, that was fun. Internet died. Now, in case you're wondering where we are now, we are in my lovely little testing world that I use for our Scuffed MC designs. And as you can see, there is what the uh, wheat farm originally intended to look like, as well as a little mock-up of our mob spawner too. I think that's where we're going to leave today's episode, just in case the internet decides to cut out a third time, or whether my uh, computer cuts out in the meantime, because I just got a replacement battery for it, and I don't know how long it's going to last. So, yeah, I think we're just going to finish up this little bit of roof. We're not on the Scuffed MC server, and we're still doing work. Right, there we go, that's good enough. Right, that is going to be where I'm going to leave this episode. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed, please be sure to let me know if you like, because hey, let's know you like it, and that you want more stuff like this on the channel, because, uh, well, let's face it, I've made 37 of these episodes, and uh, you guys seem to enjoy them, which is honestly pretty good for me, so uh, it lets me know you actually do like these. 
And also, if you're new here, feel free to go ahead and press subscribe and a notification bell and set that to all so you never miss an upload. And while you're at it, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment. I love true comments and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can. And into the next one, we managed to make it to full netherite. We found a bastion and we got the pig step CD, which I am very proud of. So I shall see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and a goodbye. I cannot believe I decided to cut out with recording. Again. Oh well, I really should fix that.